Well, Mohammed Al Masri is the chair of the Media and Cultural Studies program at the Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. He's a political analyst who has written extensively about Egypt's politics. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, first off, we've heard uh, Amnesty International call this a parody of justice. What do you make of today's sentencing? Well, I think, first of all, we should note that this is not the first uh, mass death sentence in Egypt. There is precedent. There have been several mass death sentences. Um, no evidence is, is ever presented. Um, so these are these are sham trials. Uh, these are sham sentences. Sentences. Um, uh, so I think today's uh, verdicts are uh, really just the continuation and fulfillment of longstanding uh, judicial practice and policy um, in Egypt. There is no independent judiciary in uh, in, in Egypt. The judici judiciary is in effect a part of the um, executive branch. The judiciary considers it legal perfectly legal for uh, the, the police and military to carry out uh, crimes, including mass murder. Uh, they killed more than 900 people on a single day in August of 2013. But they consider it illegal to protest against uh, against the military dictatorship. So um, this is a sham in every, in every sense of the word. There is consensus in the human rights community about this and also in the scholarly community. Let's talk about this at a more sort of macro level. Uh, is this a bid by CC to eradicate the Muslim Brotherhood? And if so, uh, do you expect that we will see more trials like this during CC's rule? The, the Egyptian government, led by Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, um, has and will continue to work hard to eliminate all forms of opposition. That starts with the Muslim Brotherhood, but it doesn't end with the Muslim Brotherhood. We've also seen uh, civil society, uh, secular and liberal, liberal groups um, uh, repressed in, in the CC era. So um, unfortunately, I think we can expect uh, for more of this. Um, but the government, unfortunately, has been, has been rather successful. Um, they've been able to elimin eliminate uh, pretty much all of the serious opposition in Egypt. They've shut down opposition media. They've jailed more than 60,000 people. They've killed thousands of people in the streets. They've carried out these mass death sentences. So there really isn't much opposition left. So, um, you know, uh, what what comes next, I think, is, is anybody's guess. But it, it appears that this is going to be a longstanding, a prolonged uh, military dictatorship. And I expect that Abdel Fattah Sisi will amend the Constitution to give himself the right to rule Egypt uh, for an additional four years and perhaps indefinitely. What about on the ground? Because as you say, these mass trials are not new. We've seen them before in Egypt. Uh, as you say, you know, thousands of people have been incarcerated who oppose the government. But on the ground, how do you think, you know, the everyday Egyptian, what they think of what they see going on uh, when we're broadcasting trials like this and sentencings like this? Well, uh, Egypt is a split society. It's been a split society for, for many years. Uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi does have his, he has a strong base of support. We don't know exactly what, what the numbers are because they don't allow opinion polling in Egypt. But if I had to guess, based on prior polls, I would say that it's in the neighborhood of 30 or 35 percent. But there's a large opposition to Sisi. I would say probably the majority of Egyptians uh, oppose uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, if we could do an honest, fair, scientific opinion poll. But many Egyptians right now simply don't have time or energy for politics. They're busy trying to put food on the table. There's been um, a tremendous increase in inflation uh, over the past uh, few years. Uh, subsidies have been uh, pretty much eliminated. And um, it's very difficult for the average Egyptian just to um, make ends meet. Thank you for that. Uh, great to have you on the show. That's Mohammed Al-Masri, the chair of the Media and Cultural Studies Program at the Doha Institute for Graduate Studies.